All right, I'm here with Dr. Ian Grayson, a friend and colleague here. Ian, let's talk about the use of anti, uh, we were talking about antimicrobials, but let's talk about the use of antifungals and antivirals right. in dentistry in general, and how, when do we run into them? Okay. Well, generally speaking, in endodontics, virals are not a significant factor because most of the organisms we treat are bacteria uh, in tooth infections. Uh, the, viral, the viral infection um, generally affects the soft tissues. The most common we see is um, recurrent herpes type 1. That affects the gingiva and the lip area. It travels and lives in uh, cranial nerve number 5, usually in V1, V2, V3. Um, there's three phases, a prodromal, um, a bullous or a vesicular, vesicular phase. And um, there's the last Eruption one, the crusting. crusting. Yeah. Right. So generally speaking, with that, it goes 7 to 10 days. The second most common infection are mumps. That's the myxovirus, affects the salivary glands, uh, most commonly the parotid. And the last and least common is HPV, human papillomavirus. And HPV sounds like pay-per-view, right? It sounds like pay-per-view, but it's <laughs> okay. not quite pay-per-view. <laughs> okay. It's a little more serious than that. <laughs> but that can cause gingival There's hyperplasia. There's some pay-per-view that can cause HPV. HPV. Well, that, that's severe <laughs> boredom. Yeah, so, but that can cause gingival hyperplasia. That can cause um, mm -hmm. warts in the mouth. Right. And generally speaking, it's very hard to treat. The best way of doing that, oh boy, by the way, it's also associated with um, oral and um, facial squamous cell carcinoma. Right. So the best thing to do with that is to prevent it with the Gardasil vaccine. Terrific. So uh, we know that in endodontics, the one that we're going to run into the most is a prodromal kind of phase of the herpes simplex virus right. because it mimics quite a bit uh, odontogenic pain, right? right. That's, that's shingles we're talking about right. right now. And that usually V2 around the cheek area. The prodromal phase will often mimic a toothache and we can mistake it. But if we wait about a week or so, we will see the vesicles forming right. and then we can make the diagnosis. The key there is to just also just stick to your basis of diagnosis when you're not right. sure not to treat. Exactly. To wait and let things, because a lot of times these things, all of a sudden you get eruption of a cold sore right. and they realize that the problem was not really endodontic, it was actually um, exactly. um, a cold sore. Terrific. Exactly. Let's quickly talk about the uh, anti uh, Antivirals. Fungals. We can talk about the antiviral medications. Let's talk okay. about anti okay. So Zovirax, 5% topically. Uh, applied say four to five times a day does not in fact uh, cure it but it lessens the duration and it must be done or performed or put on as soon as you notice signs and symptoms at the prodromal stage or at, at the, the prodromal the... phase okay so as soon as you feel the burning sensation put on uh, instead of seven to ten days it may be gone in five yeah. or six a little days. bit later in the crustal phases so kind right. of doesn't do much at right. that point it can you can also use systemic um, you can also use eclavir uh, 800 milligrams three times a day, or even better, Valtrex, 500 milligrams twice a day for mm. seven days, and that'll also reduce the duration of the uh, disease. So what about the antifungals? Antifungals, um, most commonly in the elderly population, uh, most commonly on the Associated palate. with immunocompromised Right, state. immunocompromised, yep. Uh, most commonly on the palate and denture wearers. Uh, in patients, uh, the corners of the mouth where there's vertical collapse and you have that perfect breeding ground where it's moist and the immune system can't get to it. Uh, in the case, obviously, if you increase the vertical or you have the patient take the denture out at night, you can get rid of it. But in order to help with medications, you can use Nystatin cream applied topically three to four times a day. Um, or you can use fluconazole, 100 milligrams, a loading dose, and then for 7 to 10 days, and it should eradicate any problem there. Terrific. So we don't really get... Although, you know, it's interesting, most people don't realize that about 7 to 8 percent of endodontic failures are due to fungal growth right. inside the canal. And to that extent, do you have any advice for that? Well, in terms of that, um, is the only thing you can do is great endodontics. You do it very, very thoroughly. Uh, Candida albicans is susceptible to hypochlorite. And as restorative dentists, when we go out and we restore these things and we do a great job of restoring them, the likelihood of that is very, very small. Yeah. I always tell people to make sure to disinfect their gutta percha because sometimes it's gutta percha sitting on a bench for too long. It could grow. Yeah. Uh, fungus and so on. So this, in fact, they got a picture before using it. And just as you said, more meticulous uh, uh, aseptic technique is, right. is going to be a key thing. Terrific. Right. Uh, Thank thanks you. so much again for doing this. Pleasure. Thank you.